Tonight's lesson is lesson 11.4. Join and separate angles. Our essential question is, how can you find the measure of an angle separated into parts? Please make sure to write this essential question down at the top of your notes. Our first question is asking us to find the total measure of angle JKL by using the information that I already have. So I want to know what the total measure of angle JKL is. So what this whole big measure of the angle would be. Now I don't have a protractor to use, so I'm going to have to use the information that they give us. They are telling me that this angle inside of JKL is 90 degrees, and this angle also that's inside of JKL is 10 degrees. So if I wanted to know what the total measure of JKL would be, I could add 90 degrees plus 10 degrees, and that would give me what the measure of angle JKL would be. So if I have 90 degrees, plus 10 degrees, that would give me 100 degrees. So the measure of angle JKL, this whole big angle, is 100 degrees. Here is another example. It says find the total measure of angle PQT by using the information that I already have. So I want to know what the total measure of angle P, Q, T is, and I need to use the information that they gave us here. So it's telling me that the measure of this angle here is 43 degrees. And then the, the measure of this angle here is 37 degrees. So if I were to add these two angles together, I would get the combined total of the measure for P, Q, T. So let's add them together and see what we get. So I would have 43 degrees plus 37 degrees and when I add them together, it will give me the total combined measure of PQT. So 3 plus 7 is 10. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. So it would be 80 degrees. Now I need to ask myself, is this measure reasonable? Is this are the degrees reasonable for the angle that I have? Well, if you see that angle PQT is a little bit less than a right angle because a right angle would come straight up. So it is less than a right angle. And remember, a right angle measures 90 degrees. So I would say that 80 degrees is reasonable. So the measure of angle PQT is 80 degrees. Okay, here's a question for you to figure out on your own. So I would like to know what the measure of angle EGJ would be. And you need to use the clues that they give you to figure that out because we don't have a protractor to use. So first, I would like you to tell me what type of angle is EGJ. So would it be a right angle, acute angle, or obtuse angle? Then I want you to try to figure out what the measurement of angle E, G, J would be. Use the clues to help you. Go ahead and pause the video, work this out in your notes, press play when you're ready to go over it. Okay, you should have said first that E, G, J was an obtuse angle because it looks like it's greater than 90 degrees so it's an obtuse angle. Now we need to figure out well what does the angle EGJ measure to? What is the how many degrees is it? So if you can see that we have part of our angle which would be EGJ 
H is 70 degrees. So we have 70 degrees. And then the next part of our angle, which is H, G, J, so this angle here is 35 degrees. So I could add 35 degrees. I would have to add 70 degrees plus 35 degrees, and that would give me the total angle and measurement for angle E, G, J. So 70 degrees plus 35 degrees would be 105 degrees. Is it a reasonable measurement for the angle? Yes, because remember we said that our angle is obtuse, and 105 degrees would make an obtuse angle. So it's pretty reasonable to me. So the measure of angle E, G, J is 105 degrees. Okay, our next example is a higher order thinking question. It's asking us, what is the measure of angle QRT? So we have QRT here, and we need to figure out what the angle, what the measurement of this angle is. So first I want you to ask yourself, look at this angle. What type of angle is QRT? And if you look at your choices, you can see that one of them sticks out more than the others. But I want you to see if you can figure this out on your own. So go ahead, pause the video, work this out in your notes, and then we'll go over it together. And I'll tell you how to figure out what the measure angle, measure of the angle QRT is. Okay, so we're trying to figure out what the missing angle value is. And so we're missing QRT. Well, let's look at angle DRT. So this whole angle right here is our big angle. So if I look, I see that it's a straight angle, so it measures 180 degrees. So if I were to add these three values up together, they would equal 180 degrees. So I have 75 degrees and 85 degrees. If I were to add up those two numbers together, the total, I could subtract it from 180 degrees, and that would give me my missing value for QRT. So I would say 180 degrees minus the value of 75 degrees plus 85 degrees, that would give me what QRT would be. So 75 degrees plus 85 degrees. Let's add that up here. And I would get, if I regroup, I would get 160 degrees. So these two angles are 160 degrees together. If I subtract 180 minus 160 degrees, I would get 20 degrees, which would have been A. So I had to add up the angles that I had already and subtract it from my total big angle, which was DRQ, which was 180. And whenever I did that, I got what the missing value was, which was 20 degrees. Here are your homework questions for tonight. Number one says, which equation can you use to find the measure of angle X, Z, W? So if we were trying to find the measure of angle X, Z, W, which equation would you use? Number two says, if the measure of angle A, B, D is 75 degrees, then what is the value of C, B, D? So we have what the whole angle measure is. Now I want to find the missing angle measure over here. So you're going to have to do something to figure that out. Number three says, Stephanie, K, and Shane each ate an equal-sized piece of pizza. The measure of the angle of each piece was 45 degrees. When the pieces were together, what is the measure of the angle they formed? So Stephanie, K, and Shane each had the same sized piece of pizza, and it was 45 degrees. When they put their pieces of pizza together, what was the measure of the angle that they formed? 
When you get done with your homework, make sure that you put your assessment level at the bottom of your notes. Good luck on your homework problems, and I will see you tomorrow, and we'll do some more practice with this lesson. Bye!